Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you the MIDI entry function in Opus Modus. This feature allows you to input your score straight from your piano, as opposed to your computer keyboard. It does this so well in fact that you never have to leave the piano anymore to write full musical sections. When we enable MIDI entry from the menu right here, we can see that the color of our listener echo bar changes to orange, which means that Opus Modus is listening for pitch symbols. Based on the position of your mod wheel, pitch wheel and sustain pedal, the listener can change to other colors as well, in which case Opus Modus is listening to different types of inputs. This is a lot to remember of course, but luckily we have a graph here that shows all the different characters and system functions. If I push the pitch wheel up for example, the echo bar will turn green, which means that the system is now listening for length values. Alternatively, if we put the pitch wheel all the way down, we get rest values. And then if the pitch wheel is halfway up, we get velocity values. And if it's halfway down, we can even get to our attributes such as staccato and tremolos. Now this is just for the pitch wheel. If we use the sustain pedal and the mod wheel, we can insert even more symbols. With the mod wheel, we can perform program functions such as new lines and parentheses, as well as inputting microtonal symbols. With the sustain pedal, on the other hand, we can merge two entries as it will skip the white space. So let's give this a try. Let's start by inputting a simple melody. I'm sure you're gonna recognize this one. The first thing we need is a list with sublists. So we need to start with two opening parentheses. To input these, we could push the mod wheel up and hit the node D twice on our keyboard. Or we can press the C note twice, which puts us inside of a list which already has closing parentheses. I prefer this method. So once we're here, we need a length value. To insert this, we push the pitch bend all the way up and press the node G, which inserts a 16th note. When we let go of the pitch bend again, we can input the pitch itself, which happens to be an A4. After this, we can simply input the rest of the notes. When we reach the end of the first bar, we can push the mod wheel up and hit the C sharp, which takes us out of the list, and then B flat to go to a new line followed by a C to start a new list. Note that all of these entries are independent of the keyboard octave, except for the pitch input. What this means is that we can use all the program functions and the velocities and the length functions on every octave of the keyboard, but for the pitch we have to use the full keyboard. By now I think you get the idea, however, so let's finish the rest of this melody um, and pay attention to the pitch and mod wheel position as I input the score. So that's it, let's give this a listen. Alright, so that's one very basic example. Let's do one more where we input some chords and add some other attributes as well. To input chords, we can simply hold a note down and then press the next note of the chord, or we can play all the notes at once, just like how you would play a chord on the piano. So to begin, we use the same system again. We set the mod wheel all the way up, then we press the C note twice, and then we start with our length value, another 16th note in this case. So for that, we use the pitch wheel. And after that, it's simply a matter of playing the chords. Now after this first chord, we need a fortissimo symbol. So to do that, we need to set the pitch bend up half. This gets us to our velocity values, and then we can see that the note F sharp inserts a forte. After that, we have another chord. And then we need an eighth note, which we can insert by pushing the pitch wheel all the way up and then hitting the note F. And then we get some other chords. Once we reach the end of our list, we do the same trick again, where we push the mod wheel up and we press C sharp to go out of the list. Then we press B flat to go to a new line and then C to start a new list.
Now here at the end of the line, we need a Mercato symbol. So to do that, what we need to do is we use our pitch wheel and we push it down half to get to our attributes. And then we can see that the D note holds the Mercato symbol. And after that, once again, we use our mod wheel to go to a new line and close this list. And for the last bar here, we need another eighth note. And then we insert our last chords. So that's it. Let's listen to this. So hopefully this short introduction shows you the power of MIDI entry. Personally, I've been only using this for a few days and it's already faster to enter my scores this way instead of having to type. It's also really nice to be able to stay at the piano and therefore stay into my composing mindset. If you have any other questions, you can always check the MIDI entry help file or use the Opus Modus forum. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and looking forward to seeing you in a next video.